Hi everybody, this is Crafty Kim with Eva Crafts. And we are here to bring you some crafty things. So for Christmas, we got um, my husband, her papa, these awesome frames from Ikea with the thought that we were going to make craft projects to put in them. So. Evangeline Eva Crafts is going to do the Draw a Cardinal. So this is the Draw a Cardinal and it's going to end up looking like that. Sorry, water spilled on it. And she's already done a mock-up of this Cardinal and she is super excited to get started and she's going to get a chance to start in just a minute. And I'm going to do the Painter's Tape um, birch trees. So I have never done that. I'm super excited to do that. So we're also set up to do a video right here of her doing her whole project. So come watch back for that. Come back for that. Sorry. We're set up to do a whole video of her doing her project. So come on back to our channel for more information about that. Thanks a lot. Bye. Okay guys, sorry about that. My camera was not going. I'm really frustrated with this because I was bop, bop, bopping a whole bunch showing you what was going on as I was going doing stuff. But here is my final So project. you can see I used this as my palette. So I am going to stay kind of in the green, blue, and purple section that I seem to use a whole lot of. Maybe I'll add some of my brown in. And I am going to mix up some colors. So some of the things that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to add, oh, I guess I should be sitting. Okay, so some of the things I'm trying to do is I'm trying to add a pathway and a background that has more trees. Um, and then a distinction between the night sky and the horizon line that's right here. And I'm gonna to try to make this path white. I don't quite know if any of this, any of my ideas are going to work out because I've never done a painting like this before. I'm just having fun. If I was doing this with a group of kiddos or even with Eva Crafts, ooh, and then don't, don't touch the papers. <laughs> I would, um, do it a lot simpler. I'd probably just do strips of paper and I'm gonna actually link to one of the tutorials for this sort of a project and that's what I would do. I like to do art and I'm going to have fun with it and I'm gonna challenge my brain anytime I do it. So
from far. I am adding, so my light is coming from over here and it's coming this way. So I'm adding shadows to the right side of all the trees. So shadow, 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 shadow. So I still have some. So what I've been doing is I've been adding shadows like this. I take and I drag my brush up and then I drag my finger across that. Let me show you again. Okay. So I am, let's see, this is a darker shadow. Shadow, 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 drag. Shadow, drag. Um, some of the times I'm also taking when I want some darker ones and I'm just, you know, dabbing. So I'm trying to keep the darker shadows up in the foreground. And the more, um, they're, they're all the same. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. That's all I'm going to say. I am, I mean, there's a difference between the tones, but you can tell it's just, it's just how far away they are. I don't know what I'm doing. Created it today. So I'm going to go first. I made a birch tree scene and I had a ton of fun with this. This is just on really thin paper. I think it's what, 98 pounds? Yeah, so really thin painter, paper. When I paint, I normally paint 140, but this was just fun for a little something to put in this really cool Hemingbrough. And Evangeline, what did you make? Oh my goodness, she made another tape one so we have three uh frames to go for chris and now we have this one that's going to go in one of the frames and my absolute favorite i don't actually know if we can give this one to chris because it's so awesome and i kind of want to bring it to my work um her cardinal and i'll leave a link to the tutorial that we followed in that one thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this please Leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Thank you very much. Bye.